if you are thinking of installing solar panels for your property and are wondering if cloudy days have an effect on electricity generation, then stay tuned to learn more. I'm Sinue with DroneQuote, and in today's video, I'm going to share some details with you about how solar panels are affected by cloudy days. Depending on how cloudy the day is, you may lose output by as much as 70% or more. This is further impacted by the time of year. If you get five hours of cloud cover during the shortest day of the year when you have maybe 10 hours of sunlight, you just lost 50% of your prime time producing hours. Now, if you get five hours of cloud cover during the longer day of the year when the sun is out for, say, 14 hours, you lose only 35% of time in which you can produce electricity. An important detail to consider is where the panels are installed on your roof or more specifically, what direction they're pointing in. Solar panel orientation plays a big part in how cloud cover has an effect on your electricity generation. Solar panels installed in coastal areas where the mornings are more likely to have cloud cover or the marine layer as it's sometimes called, will more frequently lose morning output compared to other areas that wake up to a sunny blue sky. This latter point of panel orientation relative to cloud cover is especially important in areas with time of use rates or demand charges. In short, these rates place a premium price on either what time of day you use power or the volume of power used over a period of time, hence their names, time of use, and demand charges. Let me illustrate an example for you. Say you have panels installed on the east side of the roof and you wake up to morning cloud cover that burns off by about noon o'clock. Well, by noon o'clock, the sun has moved from the east side of the roof to closer to the south side of your home. And as such, this east facing solar panel may have missed out on prime hours of production earlier on. If you can place panels on the south or west side of your roof, you are more likely to have a system on your roof that will produce more electricity if the clouds burn off during the day sometime. Now let's take a look at what you can expect to see in your solar panel monitoring on a sunny day versus a cloudy day. Most solar panel systems come with a monitoring system you can look at through your computer or your mobile device. And even on the cloudiest of days, you can see in the monitoring that electricity is still in fact being generated. The solar panel monitoring will reflect output in different windows of time from day, week, month, year, or lifetime. You'll want to confirm you're looking through the day lens in order to see the right data. Also, you'll want to look at this in the latter part of the day or a previous day so you get the whole picture. What you want to see is a nice bell curve. Let's take two different examples. One example will be a sunny day and one example will be a cloudy day. On a sunny day, Panels will ramp up electricity generation and smoothly increase until you see a peak in the bell curve. As the sun continues to move, the bell curve will start to wind down as electricity generation decreases. If your panels are facing east, the peak will happen earlier in the day. If they're facing south, it should happen right around the middle of the day. And if your solar panels are facing west, the peak production will move to the latter part of the day. Next, let's compare this sunny bell curve to a cloudy day. Here you can see that instead of a nice smooth bell curve as we saw earlier, we now have a rather spiky bell curve. As the cloud cover decreases, you can see the spike in output, but as soon as the cloud cover moves over the solar panels again, you can see the drop in electricity production. On this cloudy day, the solar generation for the entire day was just over 6.6 kilowatt hours. But on the sunny day, the system produced almost 
28 kilowatt hours of solar electricity. If we look at the monitoring in real time, you will see that due to cloud cover at 10.54 a.m. when this recording was taken, the system is only producing 1.5 kilowatts of output. But only one hour later, the output increased to 10 kilowatt hours because the cloud cover had either passed or burned off. As a side note, the solar panel system in this example has a battery installed as well. This is worth mentioning because if you only have an east facing roof to install solar panels on, and you also live in an area with time of use or peak demand charges, your battery may be able to save whatever power you produce in the morning with your east facing roof and make it available to you in the afternoon during the time when electricity rates have increased. This is known as energy arbitrage and is also how batteries save you money. This factors into how net metering and time of use rates work from which you can get more information right here. What our clients love about DroneQuote is how we educate them about the solar or roof buying process rather than an effort to close the sale at all costs. We make it our job to know these nuances and others so that you can rely on us for actionable information. 